वेलकम टू दी चैप्टर स्पेसेस एंड बाउंडरीज वन दिस स्लाइड प्रेजेंट्स दी ओवरव्यू ऑफ दी चैप्टर लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव बाय दी एंड ऑफ दिस चैप्टर यू विल बी एबल टू कैलकुलेट द पेरीमीटर ऑफ अ स्क्वेयर एंड अ रेक्टेंगल फाइंड द स्पेस बिटवीन ऑब्जेक्ट्स हाय सानवी Hi Sandeep I am observing you from the last few days you are spending most of your time in this garden Oh yes I love gardening Oh is this your garden Yes of course my father gave me this garden as a gift on my last birthday Okay what is the perimeter of the garden Perimeter it sounds something new Can you explain it to me clearly? Yes, sure. Perimeter refers to the total length of the boundary. Who oh, is it so? I don't know the perimeter, but I know the length of boundaries. That's okay. You tell me the boundaries, I will calculate the perimeter. Hmm, it's a rectangular garden in which two of the sides are 50 meter and the rest are 65 meter. Okay, let me calculate. Two sides are fifty meters. That is fifty plus fifty, and two are sixty-five meters. That is sixty-five plus sixty-five, is equal to fifty plus fifty plus sixty-five plus sixty-five, is equal to two thirty meters. Is the perimeter? Oh my God, Sandeep, you are amazing. You made this calculation look so easy. Oh. Come on Sanvi if you know the length of the boundaries we can calculate the perimeter easily Thank you Sandeep today i learned how to calculate the perimeter It's okay Sanvi i have some work and will meet you tomorrow bye take care Okay Sandeep bye take care Here we shall learn what is perimeter Perimeter is the distance around a geometrical shape like square, rectangle, triangle, etc., or the measurement of the distance around something which is having a boundary. In our daily life, we see many situations like fencing a house with a wire along the edges to construct a rectangular aquarium, etc., which gives us an idea of perimeter. Now. We will learn how to calculate the perimeter. A person started walking from P to Q, and distance covered between them is six meters. He travels from Q to R for a distance of six meter, and from R, he travels to his starting point P for a distance of eight meters. The total distance covered is PQ plus QR. Plus R P, that is six plus six plus eight equal to twenty meters. Have a look at an example problem. Find the perimeter of the following figures and identify which figure has the greater perimeter. Let us solve it as. The perimeter of figure A is the sum of the lengths of all sides, that is A B plus B C. Plus C D plus D A. Therefore, the perimeter of figure A equal to A B plus B C plus C D plus D A. That is four times of eight centimeters, which is equal to thirty-two centimeters. In the same way, the perimeter of figure B is the sum of the length of all sides. That is O P plus P Q plus Q R plus R S. Plus st plus tu plus uv plus vw plus wx plus xy plus yz plus zo. Therefore, the perimeter of figure B equal to op plus pq plus qr plus rs plus st plus tu plus uv plus vw plus wx plus xy plus yz. Plus Z O. By substituting the values, we get the perimeter of figure is forty centimeters. 
Hence, the perimeter of figure B is 40 centimeters. For the two figures, we can say that figure B has a greater perimeter than figure A. Now let us solve some exercise problems. Click each tab to know more. Now let us do a lab activity to find the area of an eraser. Click each tab to know more. Objective The aim of this activity is to measure the area of the object with the help of squares. Materials required the materials used in this lab activity are centimeter graph paper, eraser, procedure. Take an eraser and a graph paper. First, place the eraser on the graph paper. Count the total number of squares covered by the eraser even if it is half filled. Count it as full. Observation In this activity, we observe a total of 9 squares which are covered by the eraser. Two of the squares which covered less than half of the area. Note, neglect the squares that are less than half a square covered by the eraser. Conclusion From the activity the area of the eraser is the total of full squares. The squares that are less than half are neglected. Hence, the conclusion is seen in the table shown on the screen. Now, let us perform an activity and solve the problems. See the following figure and click on the answer in the space provided. Now let us perform an activity and solve the problems. Observe the following figures and type how many squares are covered by each object. Practice Joan. Try to solve the questions on your own. Click Solution tab to verify your answers. Summary Let us recap the highlights of this chapter. Perimeter is the distance around a geometrical shape like square, rectangle, triangle, etc. or the measurement of the distance around something which is having a boundary. We have learned how to calculate the perimeter of a square rectangle. Follow-up work What is the perimeter of a square if the length of each side is 6 meter? What is perimeter of a rectangle if its opposite sides are 2 meters and 5 meters respectively? Evaluation Test your understanding of the chapter by taking the mock unit test. You have successfully completed the chapter Paces and Boundaries 1.